I might. <laughs> it's way too late though. I already got the jump on you guys. Okay, Milan. It doesn't even. You guys can siege up all my all my vassals' lands. I don't even care. Also over here, we're going to divide the men. Send a good amount down here to go help with the sieges. And let's see. Oh, we have a 51 death stack of of awesomeness right here. Okay, good. Okay, we're sieging up through all this. We have 28k. Let's see. Not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. We just deal. We dealt with the Russians already. And they had a much bigger army than you guys did. I'm pretty sure we could beat you guys pretty much single-handedly. After I dealt with the Russians, almost anything seems small. Actually, now that I think about it, anything seems small. So we have... I think this is all the troops that they have over here. So I'm going to go destroy them. Alright, let's go group them up. Uh, let's see. Germany made peace. Pretty sure they got out of the war because the Italians had to deal with me. Let's go destroy these guys. Yes, and all dead. That was an easy destruction. They're going to go try to go destroy my Venetian friends. They're trying now to go siege back all this, which I don't want them to do. Go kill all these guys. There we go. Dig deep and greedy. There we go. And yeah, we won. <laughs> that was it, people. We absolutely owned the Italians. Not even really a war, just kind of more of a uh, quick quickish uh, siege let's see and yeah we basically beat them up into a pulp they have nothing else that they can really offer to try to destroy us a stands also moving in to try to come help us oh that's such a beauty right there that's such a beautiful uh, conquest and once I have all these guys underneath our control we officially don't have to worry about Italy claiming any more land from us which is good because since we are technically like the Austrian Empire right now, they could potentially come in and go claim a lot of land from us, which is what we don't want. You guys go siege up like one province back here, that way we have it. Okay, it seems like they are moving in a little bit more sporadically. But we also have this big gigantic British army right there, which is being which is going to, I think, gonna go crush in more armies down there. Go move in right here. Yeah. I mean, Italy is basically done already. I haven't even really moved in, but they're basically done. They have one death stack. One death stack. To try to fight me when I'm already at Rome. That's not good. That's not good. So, also, we're going to do some analytical philosophy. Huzzah! Help us increase our, help increase our like, gains a little bit faster. Let's see. If I combine... Okay. If I was to combine, let's just see, let's just see, let's just see. Okay, if I was to combine all of Lombardi's men, command units, let's see. You guys stop right there. If I was to combine, you guys go right here, go crush these guys. You guys could probably destroy the rest of these, these rest of these Italian men. There we go. All right, apparently, uh, France, ah, oh, dang it. So apparently the, uh, British decided to free this area of, um, of uh, peoples and that wasn't exactly nice so yeah we're not letting them seize through any more land and give back units because we definitely didn't want to destroy we definitely didn't want to destroy these people because I want them to be a part of my empire but now we have Sardinia back again into our lands I guess they're my friends right now so I guess it's not too bad to have them back in but that just means we have more people to deal with which is not exactly what I wanted to do but eh I guess at the same time, we're also crushing through all their men, which we still have a big gigantic army, may I add, so this is actually pretty cool. Let's just keep crushing through everything, and look at that. Look how quickly we're just like going through all this land. Italy didn't stand a chance. Like, literally, they did not stand a chance. Um, and I believe that the next nation that we should probably go after is... Let's see, we should actually at some point go after America, but I think America is actually pretty powerful. Yeah, 65 brigades over there on their own little country could actually cause difficulties for us. But I do believe soon we should go after America. Soon. But let's go finish up attack Italy right now because I really want to get Italy's land. Oh man, I really want to get Italy's land. Because it's so going to be cool. We get all Italy's land. They're all ours. There's nothing they can do about it. Oh, man. Goodness, there's nothing they can do about it, too, because I attacked just at the right point in time. 
they couldn't defend themselves, they could not steer themselves in the right direction, I just literally attacked at the right time. And now they can't do anything about it. I mean, they could try to do something about it, but let's see. By the way, you guys want to enter out this war yet? Hmm. Oh, we could also add a uh, Causus Belli to, uh... We could actually add a Causus Belli to uh, finish off Bavaria, too. And they actually have a decent-sized uh, industry right now. What the heck? A uh, Bayern is is Bayern an actual residence place of theirs, or is that just a name they have? But no, that's an actual name of theirs. Wow. Let's see. If I was to add their score of industry to mine, we're nowhere near as many as the Germans have because the Germans just are crazily good. But with theirs, I'd actually be a threat. You know what? Sure. Let's add them. Let's since we have an opportunity to wipe out these guys, let's let's add a conquest cause spell like to them too. And we have enough infamy to blow it off, so it's not like I'm just doing this because of random reasons. We literally have the infamy to blow this all off. You guys get onto that continent. Ah, oh, dang it. They're blocking us right here. Go send out our boats. Go destroy some of them. I'm pretty sure they were not able to build advanced boats yet. I'm almost fairly certain. Yeah, you guys don't get to block the street of Medessa. Alright. No Alcatraz. Yes. Yes, we're going to be evil. Evil, I say. Alright, you guys get right here. Okay, there we go. Alright, everyone, get onto this. Get onto this place quickly before the Italians block us up again. Okay, now move over here. And let's see. Let's see right there. Let's see. Okay. And now what we have to do is wait for the uh, Bavarians to finish up. Because Bavaria is the one we're going to need to do separate pieces with. And then we go after the other guys. Okay. So now we got all this land, we just give it a second, wait for, wow, they are, s whoa, they are seriously trying to conquer all this land. It's a good thing I'm not sending in any of my men in there. Let's see, what would you guys want anyways? No. I want to go finish off Bavaria, and then I can go finish off you guys. Okay, there we go. And then let's go see, we need that last little province right there, because I'm pretty sure the uh, these guys right here will not give up yet. Yeah. As I thought, they won't give up yet. I really don't want to do it myself. There we go. Okay, and apparently, again, the, uh, stupid... Uh, what are the stupid... Okay, you know what? Screw you. Screw you. I'm not letting you... If, if, if the two Sizzlies are going to be back in this game, I'm not letting you guys break them up. Okay, they're going to be my vassal, okay? If the two Sizzlies are going to be back in this game, they're going to be my vassal. Okay? Alright, I don't know how you guys keep breaking up all these nations when I'm not allowing you guys to, but it's really kind of annoying. You mean you didn't even siege down any of that land? Okay, there we go. Bavaria is now ready. They will accept the software. Boom, NXM. You guys, boom, NXM. So now we have a bigger empire, but I wish I would have gotten all my empire because, hey, Two Sicilies, I know you guys love me, so give me what I need. No, you guys won't give me what I need because we're not friends anymore. Uh, that's annoying. That's seriously annoying. So, yeah, we did win a little bit more land. Now we got a lot of political backwash. So let's free some states like Lucia and guess we could feed Aristonia. There we go. That way we have a kind of decentralized area over here, which is kind of nice. I like it. And let's see. We're going to go get back all of our troops over here once these guys go right there. And what we can also do now is we can actually like uh start making more men so let's see because right now we can make a ton of men whoa make a ton of men by the way upgrade all of our upgrade all of our factories so that we're getting an even more bigger crazily good crises is anyone going to support that because i don't think you guys should okay we're going to build even more men one i'm going to be right back people because this could take a while yeah, that did take a couple minutes, and I don't want you guys to kind of be sitting there like, uh, why are we watching this guy just build army? That kind of seems very boring, so, yeah, that's the reason why I skipped through all that. Anyways, right now I think the next nation I'm going to be declaring war on is actually the Netherlands. Why? Because it would be really nice to have the Netherlands as a, uh, little pet vassal. Having all their land in ours would be really nice. Uh, we're also going to build a lot of ships, because... We're going to need ships. 
because that's just what we're going to need. We're going to need ships. And Danish Africa. Ooh. Huh. You know, I've never thought of, da of the Danish ever being a colonial power in this game, but apparently things happen in this game that don't usually happen in regular game because of all the, like, alliances we have right now. Okay, but anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to see... Most likely Germany would get our alliance back if I would if I was to be nice. So well first let's just make sure that no one's gonna join against me. There we go. Now that no one else is gonna join against me, let's just see. Who are you guys really friends with? Relationship wise. Relationship wise, you might be friends with the uh, Swedish. Let's see. Uh UK, I'm going to dissolve our alliance. Gonna wait for one of you guys to call me back in, and then we're going to see if we can get another double alliance again. Unless you guys, Belgium became a great power. No, they did not. So, yes, we could totally do this. We just have to wait for one of them to offer me a great alliance spot. Okay, unless by chance I accidentally messed up on this. Um, You guys would not accept because too many great allies shoot. I might have just messed that up. Okay, what about you, Germany? No, we could actually get France in on this, actually. Too many great alliances. They're already allied with someone. That's a great alliance. Who? With Sweden. So that's the alliance. Oh. Whew. Well, I knew this was bound to happen eventually, but... Wow. They allied with each other. Shoot. So that basically takes out those two. So one, two, three, four. The only person I could get an alliance with right now is America. Or the Netherlands, who are the people I want to kind of declare war on. Oh, man. That's probably not going to break throughout the rest of the game. I think I just made a really unwise decision. And yeah, that might cost me just a little bit. Not even going to deny. That may have cost me just a little bit. And we're really going to have to move down here. Oh my goodness, that really, that really kind of stinks. Oh man, that really disgusting. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, back again. So yes, we had to, so I guess I had to do something for a quick second. And we are back into this game. Well, I'm actually making a lot of money right now. Yay. Decrease my expenditure by a little bit. I can go a little bit. I think I can now actually afford going into negatives. Yes, two Sicilies, you guys are going to be mine. Because if you guys are formed, you guys are going to be a part of my empire. Okay? Because you guys usually are pretty good vassals. So if you guys are part of my empire, it's going to be nice. Plus, I already have troops stranded down here, and I really don't want to pick them up. Okay? And so, yeah. We're going to go declare war on the... Uh, um, Mighty Mighty Netherlands. Because... Well, we can, and because we should. Actually, you know who we could form an alliance with? Japan. Hmm. Use the use the Rising Sun's army to use them to attack the Philippines. Yes. I like the sound of this. So we use the Rising Sun's army to go attack the Philippines. And then we use that... Wait, let me make sure... Let me also make sure I get a uh, Causes Bill against these. Oh my goodness. We have to decrease relationship with these guys because apparently they made us really, really happy. Oh my goodness. I completely forgot about that. So let's go right there. There we go. Oh man. I hope maybe the Dramatic Federation will do the uh, really cool event. Okay, Conquest. There we go. Now that we got that, let's see. Maybe we can get Japan on our side. We get Japan on our side. They could basically fight uh, the other war for me. Let's see. Just keep increasing the relationship with these guys. Since this is basically all I'm investing my points into, I'm hoping... Oh, shoot. Now we got 20 infamy again. Let's see. Who do we want to release this time? Who gets to be a free nation right now? Uh, the Papal States would actually be not that bad of a nation. Hmm. Luthania... Uh, Russian Empire, oh my goodness. No, we're not going to do that. 
Confederation of Southern Anatolia. Uh, let's release the Kingdom of Mozambique because I think that'd be kind of awesome having having a little pet African nation over here in the uh, African lands. And it seems like the Danish and everyone else are starting to uh, colonize the regions. I'm kind of out of it right now because I really don't have the correct tech to go do this. I hope what I hope I get is I hope I get kind of a land access route right here to go link up my lands. That way I have like do 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 do. And let's see. I'm going to get two Sicilies. And let's see. I don't want to get ship construction. There we go. And let's see. Is there anything else I don't want? No, I think this is good. I think we probably just got banned. Yeah, we probably just got banned. Yes, they banned us. British banned us. Oh, gosh. And now they're allied with the uh, no traumatic Federation, which means we're never going to be able to get this alliance back until the end of the game. Okay, we're also going to increase relationships with the uh, Japanese. So the Japanese can start trusting us. So maybe we'll be able to get an alliance with them. They like, they'll, they'll be the only European powers that they'll be like, hey, you know what? We, we hate all the other European powers, but we like those Ottomans. They're pretty nice people. I mean, very warlike, but very nice people. That's what I hope, that's what I hope is going, oh my goodness, wow, I don't know what just happened, why did they declare war, uh, liberate Franklin, okay, did they call in, yes they did, okay, um, hmm, I wish I had known that they were going to do that. <laughs> because I would have deleted my army and sent in a more powerful army to go, like, weaken them. Well, now they... Oh, well, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.